Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Virgo, this is the Beware spread. We've got the Four of Swords, the High Priestess, the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is an interesting spread. There's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of conflict going on, and uh, I think in the end somebody's just going to drop everything and walk away after yet another major fight. Uh, it's possible that somebody is plotting something. Somebody is up to no good and they're thinking about how do I get this Virgo into this conflict, into this fight? Or how do I break up with Virgo, right? If you are already in a relationship with somebody, somebody could be thinking about breaking up with you. Um, so I'm not really happy about this prep, to be honest with you. So we've got the Four of Swords with the High Priestess, though. So the Four of Swords is somebody just taking a break, somebody is thinking about something. That's where I was getting the plot from, from this Four of Swords. And uh, especially together with the uh, High Priestess, this is all about something hidden from you, something you, you're not aware of, something that's happening behind the scenes while you are away or while you're sleeping, <laughs> right? So somebody wants to... Uh, start something with you and they've been thinking about it um, so the both the five of wands and the five of swords are all about conflict and fighting and somebody just eventually like i said is going to drop everything and walk away and uh, we have the nine of uh, wands on the bottom of the deck this is most likely you post factum after all of this happens you're going to be really hurting here and putting up a wall against the other people or just you will need some time to heal from this because the nine of wands is the wounded warrior card so yeah this is what you need to be aware of Virgo I don't know if this is about love or work or finances but someone I think someone wants to start a fight with you or somebody wants to break up with you so if you see signs of somebody who is whose behavior is changed towards you, uh, keep in mind that this is what could be happening. They could be getting ready to either uh, dump you or get into a fight with you and they're just looking for an excuse to start this fight. But let's take a look at the advice spread. The advice spread often reveals more details. All right, here's the advice uh, spread, Virgo. Uh, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Pentacles, then we have the Four of Swords, Clarified by the Knight of Swords with the Three of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So this could be about love or work. Because the Nine of Pentacles, I think this is you. Uh, often this card is read as a single person card, but I think in this case this is you just shining like a star and everybody wants to uh, take advantage of you because they know that you got it going on you got your ducks in a row and uh, you could be the king of the hill right now right and everybody wants to dethrone you it could be something like that or it could be as simple as somebody is just simply jealous jealous of what you've got in terms of money or in terms of a relationship um, it's also possible that it is a single person card because that's what this person is plotting you to make a single person by leaving you see we've got the four of swords again and I decided to clarify it and it's clarified by the knight of swords with the three of swords so somebody is actually really plotting something to rush into your life and to break your heart um, yeah, so I think the advice is for you, which is in the will of fortune. Please try to avoid this at all costs possible. Just pay attention to the red flags. And uh, the will of fortune will spin in your favor. If, if you're thinking about getting into a relationship, or if you've noticed that this person is no longer paying you as much attention, just be prepared that they're either getting ready to leave you, or, you know, if you're starting a new relationship and this person is not 
presenting him or herself as a solid candidate, then just avoid this person and move on. Spin the wheel of fortune and move on. All right. Um, let's uh, take a look at the third spread. All right, Virgo. Let's see what is the next really good positive thing that's going to happen to you in August. That will at least put a smile on your face. We've got the three of swords, the eight of cups, the eight of wands, and the queen of swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, boom, boom, boom. So yeah, I think the uh, this this should have been the advice spread right here. So the three of swords is the heartbreak or devastation or breakup. And the Eight of Cups is uh, somebody walking away. So I think what you should do is just walk away from this heartbreak. Um, use your intuition and uh, do take, a, take preemptive steps to either end a relationship that's, uh, that looks like a, that it's on its last leg. Or don't start a relationship at all with somebody you're not sure about okay just walk away because it will give you a heartbreak if you stay or if you get yourself involved with the, this person you could be dealing with an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius that's the Queen of Swords for you male or female absolutely doesn't matter or the Queen of Swords is uh, yet another confirmation that you should cut this person out of your life because the Queen of Swords is somebody who's been there who's done it who can smell bullshit from a mile away right so assume the energy of the Queen of Swords and cut this person out of your life and this will be the best thing for you to happen in August okay um, yeah so um, if you can interpret this in any other way or let me know in the details or let me know how this plays out for you other than that have a fantastic month Virgo and there you have it I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.